How much do you get paid? I'll tell you. Do you want to know Amy's salary? $153,000 Canadian government pays her. All right, welcome back everybody to another episode of Canadian Gundam Gundam Shop. Might have to change the name, we'll see. Uh, we, Bandai loves us so much and sent us four more skids. <laughs> this middle one was crazy. Uh, anybody need a PG Unleashed? Because uh, we got a ton of them. And uh, taking care of the 30 uh, minute uh, sisters. So that's kind of, oh, actually I got some up there too. <laughs> so we got a ton of that. What else we got in here? Sazabi, Dynames, Dynamis. Um, yeah, okay. So today I got Amy. She's helping me. So that's super awesome. Uh, this place is still a bit of a crazy disaster. Uh, but I got two problems today. Uh, and I kind of want to get your opinion on it. Um, one of them, Amy screwed up horribly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we shipped an order uh, to uh, Newfoundland and somebody made a mistake. I think we were supposed to ship out the strike. Strike. And we accidentally shipped. Like, look at that. That's so similar. It's so easy to grab uh, off the shelf. Like, uh, you know, I don't know. What do, what, do they, what do they do with this one? I like these entry rates, actually. So we got to be really careful with that. The problem is, is that, yeah, you know, it's not worth uh, us to ship back the kit. So we would definitely just ship out this one and say, hey, keep the other one. But in this situation, it's, I think, like $10 or something, like $13, something like that. Um, for us to ship it there costs how much? $29.07 or something? $29. $29. Uh, so that was a horrible mistake. So, uh, we're trying to reach out to the customer, see if they want to add something to the order since we're already shipping it and it's already super expensive. What, what would you want us, what would you want the company to do in that situation? I mean, I'll let you know what we end up doing. Well, I kind of already gave it away, but yeah, we're going to ship it anyways to them for free. And, uh, we're just going to see if reach out, maybe we can, you know, try and not uh, waste the shipping. It's already going there. If he wants to add something else, whatever. But anyways, that was the first problem. So, Amy, no sub today. We can't yeah. afford it. <laughs> and then the second problem is... Um, you're hiding. What was the second problem? Oh, a customer of ours that wanted to be in video, but I'm not going to say it now. Um, uh, you want to explain it? Yeah, so he bought a kit, an Eclipse, I think, and about half a month ago, right? Uh, on the 14th. So 10 days ago. And the person's going to figure out who we're talking about now. <laughs> and, uh, oh, was that bad? No. Oh. And, they wanted to be uh, a bit. We're not going to say. Anyways, today the order is, or the item is out for delivery, and he realized he used his old address in a different city. So. So now we're out. Well, we're not out yeah, nothing. But we're trying to figure out what, 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 guys in the comments, let me know what would you do in this situation because it's going to get delivered. The chances of it being returned is. Oh, okay. So we had a bit of a glitch. The chance of it being returned is basically pretty slim. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know what to do in this situation. We don't really have these kind of situations pop up, it's always just something unique. Shipping to a different address than your own. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Well, uh, yeah, but let me know in the comments. What do you think? Because uh, I don't know. I'm not sure yet what we're going to do about that. We'll just kind of play it out. But those are the two problems today. We got many more, but those are the two that uh, kind of stand out. But we are shipping orders today. Um, and uh, I got to get a kit for Amy. Um... Uh oh. Uh, I need um. I need something. Oh, guys, another thing too, if you can believe it. I kind of forgot about this, but let me get you over here. Uh, 
We might not be able to get in here because uh, I forgot that they're, whoops, um, repaving everything and there's kind of a little bit of construction. <laughs> they're repaving everything and then turns out things are going to be a, li a little bit sore because the highways or the freeways in our area are also going to be shut down for uh, for like a few days or a week. I'm not really even sure. So it's going to be really tricky to get things out and uh, get the drivers and everything and it's just like whoa are we ready to package yes Can yes you know? that's the quick update <laughs> sorry it's kind of convoluted but just want to get you guys updated so let's do some uh orders so we have drew from north carolina okay um he says shout out canadian gundam love the brand the transparency and the gundams <laughs> feel free to use my order in your youtube videos okay so what Thanks, uh drew. Yeah, I think. Okay. Kick the random box. An and a okay, so oh, they're like right beside each other. So we need a clip. Oh, look at that. Okay, oops. Come here. Come here. Okay. Well, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. And uh, Amy's gonna take care of this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, someone just called about their order and I think it's a fresh box, this one down here. So let me get things out of the way. Yes, I was right. <laughs> uh, person that called, your order is gonna be uh, being shipped actually, one of the next ones. Okay, let's trade because this needs DHL. This needs DHL. Can you do this one? Okay. Finish that one and I'll do this one. Okay, uh, before I ship that one, so yeah, I mean, uh, I was thinking about what I said about those two orders and uh, business is not easy. There's always different situations and everything is unique and it's just like every day you have to kind of think of what is the best uh, strategy and I got you guys so you guys can kind of be a part of the strategy of fixing problematic orders and situations and I love to get your guys' input because um, you know uh, critique or suggestions and stuff like that it, it just helps us improve basically so yeah I really do appreciate whenever you guys comment and uh, whether it's good or bad I do appreciate all the comments actually there was a there was a fight in the last video this is kind of fun uh, where people were accusing of be, everyone being shop owners and I, I think I, I had to step in because uh, in yeah oh yeah in the comments uh, people were accusing of people being store owners and sabotaging and as much as it might be true I have no idea I actually uh, went ahead and commented uh, saying that everybody that was pretending uh, that to be a shop that wasn't a shop actually works for Canadian Gundam <laughs> and they're being paid to comment to you know I just I was just having so fun but please uh, don't bash anybody or don't bash each other uh, the the thing was a PSA the last one I might expand on it because I actually yeah I read some of your comments and some of them were I, I had a few people reach out to me and oh that was kind of interesting things so um, but yeah and we guys in the comments uh, sorry I'm rambling so much um, would you guys be interested in uh, how Canadian Gundam prices uh, all this stuff and what goes into that because a lot of businesses they don't consider uh, some things uh like profits and stuff like that some people say that me i'm, I'm like the richest person in the world driving around a scooter because i can't afford gas <laughs> uh amy how much do you get paid i'll tell you do you want to know amy's salary a hundred and fifty three thousand dollars katie aiden gun and pays her <laughs> she gets subs once in a while guys so uh you know we're not rolling in the cash let's put it that way so but i uh, appreciate amy's uh at this point it's like an internship or something <laughs> um but yeah if you guys are interested in profits and stuff like that then uh i might do a little video on that i have to restock anyway so yeah ship some orders, ship some orders? okay enough rambling we're shipping orders but let me know if you guys want to hear that see that kind of video or uh, any other video suggestions uh what do i have to get you have to do this DHL. oh what are you gonna do wait for you to do that <laughs> all right next up we have a pg unleashed and i was like oh man it's gonna be tough to get it up from uh, like up there and then i'm like oh yeah i forgot <laughs> i got like a 
ton of them. So, Amy, go ahead and pick one. Do they want to be on video? No. Oh. I want this one. Uh, no, that's no, <laughs> that's a very terrible one. <laughs> Actually, it is terrible. I looked, and it looks like it's crushed a bit. See? So that's gonna be interesting. Oh, your head. <laughs> uh, they didn't want to be in video, right? No. All right, let's find somebody that does. It's still cool every single time. So these get packed in two. A yeah, little more, a little more, a little more. Yeah. Check that out, guys. Nice. Well, this one's staying. So we're gonna put this one back here. And Amy is going to uh, ship the other one. <laughs> Drew, package, packaged, and shipped. <laughs> and if you're curious as to, uh, if you're wondering how much it costed us, uh, costed us, uh, it was 47 and change. <laughs> Wild. So we pulled uh, this private warehouse. It's, uh, there's a lot of running around, but Amy managed to get a lot of it. I had to get the one in the stragglers. Uh, we couldn't find this guy here, which I uh, found off memory. And uh, I think, uh oh, this one could be wrong. But anyways, we'll figure it out. Amy's gonna double check. So this is Gary's order? Yeah, from North York. North York. And Gary, sorry, we couldn't get this uh, out quicker, but uh, it's going out today. So uh, what did uh, Gary have to say? Hi, Pat and Amy. Please ship all my private warehouse items as I worry that shipping fees will go up soon. They every month. And I promise I won't tell you to slip in some or all of your awesome stickers in the shipment. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think that a long list of orders should be all I have, but please double check. You may put my order in your video as long as you promise not to drop any of them. Believe it or not, didn't drop any. Right, that's because I got them all. Well, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, stickers, all I can say is... <laughs> I hope, uh, yeah, but, uh, well, I think someone's picking up an order maybe. Maybe. Anyways, Amy, double check, get this packaged, and uh, we'll move on to the next one. Thanks, Gary. Amy figured out her little Tetris and how she's gonna package it, and uh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta figure out them because of, yeah, shipping is absolutely crazy. Just a little bit costs like a buck. It's so, whoop, I can't see. A little bit here, a little bit here, it's, it's crazy. And if you ship like say 100 orders a day, a buck a day, a buck on each one you're saving, that's like $100 right there. In one month, that's say 30 days, that's $3,000 you're saving by just getting in a box. It's, it's, shipping is kind of crazy right now. So I really appreciate Amy uh, taking the time to try and uh, squeeze out every centimeter. <laughs> oh, sorry, did you say you appreciate something? I, uh, I appreciate you uh, volunteering here. <laughs> Amy just realized we missed something. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have one back there? little uh paint plastic container thingy so uh let's uh get his package open it back up and throw it in there okay okay amy never makes mistakes i caught it <laughs> not a mistake until it leaves the shop i actually shipped this one already but uh interesting comment and uh amy did you want to uh quickly read it out it's a little bit long but sure so it's edward from ohio it's a really long comment so bear with me here oh my goodness it's already not not working. The mouse. Amy always has problem with the mouses. I don't know. We got it working. It's a Bluetooth mouse, so uh, I guess you can use it with three different devices or something. I'm not. I'm not you know, no idea. But. All right. Anyways, so he says, funny little story about the pre-orders. I happen to have pre-ordered a certain kit you may or may not have shown off in your recent video around the first time you had them in stock, but from another online store. So I've kept an eye on a few other shops to guesstimate when the order would ship and or get a second one one store has restocked twice and i believe you got and i believe you guys restocked on that one kit at least three times now i even ended up getting the that kit at one of my local hobby shops best of all i am still waiting on that order to be fulfilled almost a half a year later at least it is also ordered with some niche kits i haven't seen elsewhere and can display for both versions of said kit 
Mm. Well, I hope you get it. I'm not going to cancel the order, but at least I learned that you may want to wait on pre-ordering kits that are going to be mass produced and not exclusive to one shop. Cough, P Bandai. Cough. <laughs> if I had to guess most optimistically, they underestimated how many pre-orders of that kit would sell. Um, and they underestimated how many kits they would get, and they just happened to be one of the later orders stuck in restock limbo. Thank you for your time and business and hope to do more in the future. P.S. You may want to change the top banner about shipping on your site soon. I work in logistics and I do not hear nor see anything good about shipping costs in the future due to both fuel and staffing issues. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, that, that last video I made, yeah, like, I just want people to be aware that if you do pre-order something, um, well, especially the, I might elaborate on it because I got even more information. And uh, yeah, it's I don't know. It, it's we. Uh, I'll elaborate it if you guys are interested. I'll, I'll elaborate. Just write in the comments. Um, but uh, yeah, I, trust me. I know with shipping, it is absolutely crazy. And uh, Edward, I do appreciate your comment. And uh, yeah. And now we have Michael from Michigan. Oh, now we have Michael from Michigan. <laughs> Okay. Um, so he says, use the video as you will. He's been following you. Um, okay, sorry, let me start again. Use the video as you will. Been following you too for a while and wanted to say keep up the great work and I'll miss the stickers too. Oh. So will we. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We had some cool designs coming up, I think. Anyways, All never right. got a chance to see them, but. You want to grab it? Sure. Let's, uh, let me go grab it quick. I'm going to take you guys on a little trip since it's not a big order and we can quickly grab it on camera here because it's kind of like a roundabout circle so um number three perfect strike uh, come here everybody nice okay so we need these two and we gotta get over here oh it's the last one look at that oops oops okay now just gotta get this to amy in one piece no dropping nothing. No running into anything. Oh, okay. And awesome. perfect. And with shipping costs, uh, literally one centimeter costs roughly $20 in this situation. Yeah, so this would be normally like 21 bucks going uh, to the US, but since we have to, it's one inch too tall. Like it's literally a centimeter. Or a centimeter, sorry, one centimeter. Uh, this means uh, it's got to go a different shipping method, and it's going to cost roughly about forty-one dollars now. So, yeah, wild. But you're going to get it quicker. <laughs> so it was a bit off. It wasn't forty-one. It was forty dollars and nineteen cents. So Ooh. I was off by like seventy-nine cents, roughly. <laughs> but uh, oh. yeah, and that that goes into profits and stuff like that. So. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and maybe probably make a video about that because uh, there's a lot of cool and things that people wouldn't think of when it comes to this stuff. I know a lot of stores probably might actually take this advice, not Gundam shops, but other shops or businesses uh, to help because it took me a long time. I've been doing this for over 10 years and it's uh, learned a lot over the course of this. It's the stuff you probably wouldn't learn necessarily learn in school, so, but yeah. Uh, Amy's going to get something. Got it? No, I need an entry grade strike. Entry, en entry grade strike. So, yeah, I gotta also figure this out too so I don't make any more mistakes. Nice. Ooh, I found a good one. So, this is. Eli and Chi. I hope I'm saying it right. Okay. From Georgia. 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 Shoot. Yeah, Georgia. Okay. Um, hi Pat and Amy, I've been wanting the Perfect Grade Unleashed from you since last year. My wife told me that she tried to surprise me with one for months, <laughs> but every time she tried, they would sell out fast on your website. She just checked and boom, finally some in stock. <laughs> we are so excited to build this one together. We really enjoy watching your channel and we would like to see all the new arrivals that come in too. Feel free to use this in your video, would love to see it. P.S. Keep up the good work, many blessings and keep on building. And then they put down, if I happen to find any stickers in the box, I'll happily discard them. Smiley face. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you know we can't give out any stickers. Well, I'm glad you got a perfect grade on these. Yeah, and we got the perfect one right here. All right, so, um, oh, got a handle on it too, Amy. Uh, oh, she doesn't like packaging uh, Unleashed, so I might have to take care of it quickly. So, three, two, one. Oh, wow. Oh, Limo. Oh, they're for me. See ya. <laughs> three, what? Oh. That's three yeah, limos. Three. Cool. You don't see that every day, especially on camera. Nah, we staged that. It's all green screen. Some people think this is like a green screen. <laughs> it's... It's real. Do we have anything green? That'd be kind of funny if we did that. <laughs> like touch it and then when, oh, it's still recording. <laughs> That'd be funny, huh? Like all of these guys, it's just a green screen. <laughs> okay, let me get that packaged. Just like that, custom box built <laughs> for you. And uh, if you're curious, it costed $50. Well, over 50 bucks, but uh, 50 and change, so. Oh, add it to the DHL pile. The good thing is with when we ship with DHL, it's usually uh, next day. Well, it doesn't go out today, so we'll go out tomorrow, and then you'll get it. So it's pretty fast. Um, so do we have anybody else? Let's see. And we're going to do one more, and it is? It is John from Ohio. Uh, hey, you two. I found you guys because of your YouTube channel. I'm still new to Gun Club, but having lots of fun. I don't mind if you put my order on camera. Well, that is awesome. awesome. So, uh, let's see here. I think I know what you got. So, let me see if I can find it quickly. Uh, we'll go over here. We're going to need this guy here. Upside down. <laughs> and one more over here. Let's see. Um, uh, what number was it, Amy? 43. 43. Is it back there? Yeah, it is. Oh, perfect. All right. I have to figure out how to get this over to Amy. Okay. Let's keep uh, easing our way over there. Look at that. I didn't drop anything today. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, tomorrow we'll see if Amy comes. And there it goes. Uh, we'll see if Amy wants to come back tomorrow and help me out. We got a ton of private warehouses. Guys with the private warehouses, uh, especially the huge ones. Uh, we're going to try and knock some out tomorrow. They do take a long time, so I've, we've kind of... But private warehouses are new orders are done first then we do private warehouses uh after the new orders are done so we're uh pretty much caught up and we're going to um do private warehouses tomorrow la, 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 la. <laughs> but uh thanks guys for tuning in uh and uh yeah comment below let me know what you guys think and amy how many how many Busy day, here. busy day limos and all kinds of stuff like it's crazy but uh guys um thanks for tuning in and amy don't forget to keep on building guys bye guys don't forget to keep on building take it easy <laughs>